Welcome to the Coach and Crew Show. Get ready to take things to the next level. And now, the host of the Coach and Crew Show, the coach, Charlie Krauss. War Eagle, and welcome to the Coach and Crew Show. I am your host, Charlie Krauss, and we're going to talk about last night's game against Missouri. Before we do, just real quick, please, if you need any type of any type of apparel, any type of anything with a logo on it, check out whalehookagency.com. Tell them the Coach and Crew Show sent you, and they can work with you even greater. High quality apparel or products, fast turnaround, fair pricing. What more can you ask for? Whalehookagency.com. All right. Now that we've got there, let's talk about last night and... I, my daughter is a freshman here at Auburn, okay, War Eagle, and she did not care one bit about football or basketball of any type, any type, before she became a freshman. Now that she's on campus, she hasn't missed any of this stuff, okay, and now she knows all the players on all the teams and is goes to the gymnastics matches uh, as part of all it and always posting me videos and always sharing everything. So when I was explaining to her, I was nervous about Missouri and she's like, why? Well, I go, well, this is your typical trap match. Okay. This is, this is the look ahead. This is a trap. And it was all right. Big win against Kentucky. First time ever in school history. Auburn is now number one in basketball. War Eagle, by the way, let's get that. That's a big deal. And it's a big accomplishment. And Bruce is doing the right thing by fully embracing it because it doesn't happen often. And most people will never experience it. And I mean, never experience it. So good job for doing that. Additionally, the next two games after this. Oh, who do you have? Big 12, Big 12 SEC matchup. And you host Oklahoma where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. So that's Saturday. And then you host your arch rival, Alabama, uh, the following, what, Tuesday or Wednesday? And now you're going to, woe is me, poor old Missouri, who has a sub-500 record, who's second to last in the SEC overall top to bottom standings. Sidebar, who's last? Georgia, and they beat Alabama last night. <laughs> anyway, so I was telling her, this is your trap match because you've got the buzz of the rankings, you're looking ahead, now you're going into somebody else's gym. You might start believing your own, you know what, doesn't smell. Just all the stuff that goes in between the ears now is going to be a factor specifically for just this game. Unfortunately, it was. Auburn survived 55-54, not a good outing at all. And, and Bruce, I oh got you got to love Bruce, but he was the first to admit that. And he told him, you know, we did not play like the number one team in the country this time. I mean, it came down to right here. It, it, it came down to KD making four points in the closing minutes and just putting the team on his back and coming up big and making yet another facial expression and showing what he was. Uh, uh, Jabari had his worst shooting night of, of the season. I mean, was he two of five shooting? Still had 10 rebounds, mind you. But just had not much on the offensive side to contribute. Double-double by Kessler is starting to be expected, but he only had two blocks. I mean, 12 boards and 13 points, and that's good for him, and that, that's you know what you like to see. But unfortunately, it, it's, it was not level his level of production. What was mentioned, though, was Cambridge. Okay, nine offensive rebounds. That actually really helped a lot. That helped all Auburn out a lot on, on the game. And Missouri, they played what you're supposed to do to, to play the upset and play the win. So did Auburn play their best? No. Okay, did they cover the 11 and a half, 12 and a half? No, darn it. That's my own fault. Uh, <laughs> so whatever. But they're still number one in the land. It's not a here's what you did wrong tactically approach. 
it was just one of those things you just got to figure out mentally how to survive, and they did. They survived. Big win. All, all road wins are big wins. It's something like I saw a stat that Jeff Shearer of AuburnTigers.com posted out on his Twitter feed. The rest of the SEC has won like four road games combined. That's it. That's it. Just four road games combined. SEC is the toughest conference in the league this year out of all the, out of the NCAA this year. So every win on the road is a big win, period. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. Like I said, they play again on, on Saturday against Oklahoma, and then you have Alabama in the return match the following week. And now that we're closing out January, you start getting that stretch run of, okay, we're not at the finish line yet, but we still got like a whole nother couple of weeks, like four weeks to go. Are there any look-ahead games? And Missouri could have been a look-ahead and a trap, and luckily they didn't fall victim to that. So that's the, uh, the main takeaway from, from, from last night's game overall. I mean, I trust Bruce fully. You're never going – to out intensify him. He's going to see the moments. And what I found funny is he ended the game with three timeouts. He didn't burn the timeouts. He trusted his guys comfortably enough to do what they needed to do. And they did just enough to get that W. So good job. And War Eagle. And hopefully Saturday, I, I really do expect a different type of outing on Saturday where this one could be boom and big and, uh, tumors could get decimated again with toilet paper. And so we'll see what happens and then we'll enjoy the ride because it's a special ride. And being part of the action in 2019 with, with when we beat Kentucky and being on campus when, when beat Kentucky, that was a pretty cool moment. But I got a feeling there's a, some cooler moments ahead in the near future for Auburn.